Alright, what's going on guys? Today I'll be doing an SR Keto Shikai tier list. And before we begin, for those who don't know me and why I believe I'm qualified to talk about this topic, is because I've been an SR Keto main since the release of the game and have been a season champion and top 50 every season. Before we get to the list, let me explain the factors that I used before creating this list. And remember, this is only for the current meta. The meta is bound to shift due to nerfs and buffs and new combos and techs will eventually be discovered. Before we continue to the list, here are the factors that I used. First, the synergy the Shikai's have with SR Keto. Then we have the flexibility the Shikai has in general. The flexibility it has with SR Keto specifically. My personal experience fighting these builds and playing them. Alright, so first we have creation, starting off with the best. The reason being is that the Z move does good damage, has good stun, which you can use during high end, and has good hyper armor to escape combos. The X move is mediocre, but it helps I guess. And its strongest move, which is a C, which has a very low cooldown, like 12 seconds, and um, it stuns your opponent for a few seconds, allowing you to do whatever combo you want on them. I'll play some clips throughout the video showing you the potential of the different Shikai's but this isn't a tutorial so I won't be showing you what combos to do. If you want any specific guides, comment down below or join my discord. Next we have Wind. This one's pretty self explanatory. All the moves do hella posture and still activate even when a guard breaks you so if you're not Kendo you're gonna get guard broken by Wind. Um, the moves chain into each other, allowing for different types of combos like the wind grab into Sokatsui is true, and like the wind grab into what you call that. The wind crown is also true. You can like Tepatsu after. You can literally do whatever the fuck you want to them. And they also, you can stun after stun as well. Honestly, I don't need to explain this. Judgment is just trash. I tried playing Judgment and. Um, what's supposed to do it doesn't even work it's like supposed to reduce damage whatnot all that the status effect does not work except for the slow and even then the whole kit is mediocre the the, um, the counter is mid it's just everything about it is terrible when you can go a different Shikai that's just better especially on SR Keto that shit is trash so even after all the nerfs I, I believe Shadow is still S tier for SR Keto maybe A tier this is because of all the synergy it generally has with all, all the moves. You can stack Shadow Snake with almost anything or use it as a chip posture as well as pressure with, you know, delayed death. Um, after you manage to land a Shadow Chandril, the most simple and basic thing you can do is Sokatsui, which literally does a bar. So, in theory, if you land, you know, five tendrils and that's the only thing you land, you will eventually kill your opponent. By just only doing Shadow Tendro into Sokatsui. But I'm assuming you're going to also use your other skills. So, like, you land two tendrils, you win the game. It's a guaranteed bar of damage. Not to mention, Shadow Snake also does half a bar of damage. And if you go a Kendo Hybrid, your Shadow Snake will do a lot more damage and so will your other moves. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you want to see more Shadow SR Keto um, videos, make sure to check out my other vids. Lightning is B tier because it has a decent kit overall and ha has a bit of synergy with the SR Keto. Not too much, but just enough that it's, you know, it's usable. And it's just um, a well-rounded Shikai overall. Benahime is one of my favorites because it has so much flexibility. It's not really like one trick or, you know, like the typical win creation combo. You can play really aggressive with it. You don't really, you know, rely on anything. You don't need any stuns. You can play really, really aggressive with it as well as passive when you need to. And everything just chains together and like, you know, chains into each other as well. All the moves are just good in my opinion and it flows really well with SR Keto. It's the current SR Keto build I'm using when I, you know, when I have fun. When I want to win, I'll just go on, you know, creation. Next, we have Blood. This was my main SR Keto Shikai for a while when it was super good. 
Blood follows the same concepts as Benihime. Everything flows into each other, but Blood has a bit more sustain because of the regen. But the regen isn't that good anymore. You can do combos like Rikujuro into the second part of Blood Z, which is true if you time it. And you can also do anything off the Blood Pull like Heavenly Cannon, Shinten. You can spam the Blood moves to get out of combos. And you can use the X move to pull people in your high end as it has a huge hitbox. And this is pretty good. So before we continue, everything on this everything else on this list is pretty shit. You can disagree with me if you want. You can show me some text I don't know about whatnot. But like honestly, why would you go for something else that isn't the best? Like I mean you can you can like argue for the fact that it's for like, you know, build diversity and whatnot, but like if you wanna win like I'm playing the game to win, okay, so like, you know what I'm saying? But I won't give any more uh, in-depth explanations, and I'll speed run through these shitty Shikai because, honestly, I don't have much input in using mid. But if you can make it good and discover new tanks, go for it. I did that with blood, and, you know, it, and it ended up pretty well. Alright, so flower is decent at keeping players away from you, and you can do the flower blades during high end. But overall, it's just not a good kit in my opinion, especially since you're forced on this shitty flower weapon, which isn't good for SR Kido. There may be techs on Berserk like the flying move and the dragons, but everything else just seems really mid since SR Kidos don't really get up close like that. Confusion is actually pretty good if you know how to use it. Some people do the dumb Tsuzuri Raiden thing where they M1 super fast, but overall, Confusion isn't, banned, isn't bad for landing skills and keeping them inside high end, especially if you have scythe. You just gotta know how to use the Shikai. I've seen it work before. Theater just straight up trash. I don't know why anybody would play that Shikai. Like it is barely even usable on trees even outside of Kido. However feel free to prove me wrong. Suzume Bachi got hit with some nerfs. It's still good for trees like Kendo and stuff, Hakuda. But for SR Kido, I don't really see any text or flow with the other moves. The only move, the only moves that would work into anything would probably be the TP grab punch stacked with like the dragon or something, and then like, you know, do a beam or a ten run after. Even then, your whole like the two other skills are useless. They're not useless, but like, they could have more value. There's a lot more Shikai's that give you more value as SR Kido. Which is the concept I'm basing, you know, a majority of these Shikai's off of. Poison has some good potential in general as a Shikai and how choppy it is right now. But at the moment, its concept is good, but I haven't seen it useful with SR Kido. And I can't even think of anything else besides spamming and running while slowly draining their HP. I mean, there might be some, like, high-end techs with the poison, but then... You don't really have any true stuns, so... You kind of, you know, fire is more of a close range thing. I honestly don't even know what the moves do besides them being useless and cosmetic after the rework. The massive flames in my face have more impact in a fight than the skill itself. Ink follows the same concept as flower. It's good and has a decent Shikai like base, but nothing from SR Kido seems to flow with it. If you cancel their skills, they'll easily run away and avoid your your stuff, you know, your sh Sokatsui, all that stuff.